We can go in here. Okay. And you can have a seat here. This is where Dr. Sandra Langishlog has been putting love to the test. She's an associate professor in psychological sciences at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. For nearly two decades, she has studied the relationship between love and the brain, hoping to learn how our brains react to love. And this time, I was one of her research participants. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cap on you. I had to put on an electrode cap used for an EEG test. The test measures brain activity. This is your brain activation as it's happening right now. Oh, it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm, it um, is cool. You can see that when you talk or yeah. when you move, you get a lot of noise. And then these signals here are, are eye blinks. So if you blink a couple times, yeah. So yeah, there see, are. these are cool. eye blinks. Using the data collected from brainwave tests just like this, Dr. Langishlog has proven that when you're shown a picture of the person you love, your brain creates stronger electrical signals than when you see pictures of other people. With more than 30 electrodes attached to my head, I was ready to give this experiment a try. I'm just curious to see what, what's gonna happen. For six minutes straight, I was shown multiple pictures of my husband of 14 years, Henry, my good friend, Al Roker, a stranger as a baseline, and my cat, Hollywood Hager. I was eager and looking forward to seeing the results. Each picture was up for just a second. Okay, so experiment done. Yes. What did you find? Yeah, so we have four colors here. Let's just four hope the cat isn't more than the husband. <laughs> <laughs> so this black one here is your beloved, your husband. This red one here is your friend. My friend, Al Roker. The blue one is the stranger and the green one is the cat. Okay. We are looking at the late positive potential and actually positive is plotted downwards here. So okay, the more good. down, I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> you were getting worried. Yes. <laughs> the more down, the more positive actually. That is a lot bigger in response to your husband mm -hmm. than the friend Anybody and the stranger. Else. Yeah. Your response to the cat is not yeah. quite as strong as to your husband, well, but that's it's good. there. Which makes sense because you're probably also very attached to the cat. But more attached to the husband. To the husband. My test showed the electrical signals in my brain were strongest in response to my husband, followed not far behind by Hollywood the cat. And when it came to my friend Al, well, my results showed my brain reacted least strongly to both him and the stranger, but Al won by just a hair. When I test a group of people, sometimes the friends have a little stronger response than the strangers because yes, it's someone you know and like, yeah. right? It's yeah. not a stranger. Yeah. That is a very neutral picture. Yeah. But sometimes I don't find a significant difference. Yeah, there's a slight difference, right? Yeah. I wouldn't say that's meaningful. Sorry, Al. And what you can also see, after the picture started being on the screen, your brain starts to distinguish between... Who is who? Right. So it starts to process, who is this person? Do I know them? Yeah. Do I love them? Do I like them? Yeah. So my husband yeah. and I can stay married. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Research shows that nearly everyone will fall in love at least once throughout their lives. And through her studies, Dr. Langishlog says your brain can actually help you fall in or even out of love. Wow. Okay, so Talk to us. One of the biggest okay. questions that Sandra gets is, okay, so am I, I in am love? love. <laughs> I didn't do the test to figure that out. Uh, I married the husband. Yes. You know? yes. yeah. But they, So you, you can't tell it by measuring those electrodes, but what she proves is that this positive line is most strong for the person you're in love. But I did do a test a questionnaire, and she says there's two types of love. Infatuation, which of right. course happens in the early stages. Yes, yes. yes. We all remember yes, that. Yes, yes. Honeymoon 2008. Sure. And then there's the attachment, which I am I am very strong in the attachment yeah. with Henry because we've been together for 20 Aww. years. Okay. Wow, and then you didn't do your kids. How come? Because I think the love for them would be <laughs> Strong. That would be off the chart. Yeah. But yeah. you guys, you can also take this test. Oh, you can. If you want to take this questionnaire, you can go to today.com, um, which I which I love because it's it can show you the the true love. Well, we have a little message yeah. coming oh. in actually oh. from oh. Henry Hager. Oh. So let's roll it. So oh. what he says about this experiment. Jenna, I understand you just finished a love study, and then I came out on top. You do actually love me. I love you. It's hard to believe because your choices were Harry Styles, <laughs> our cat, <laughs> Tom Brady, and this guy. Love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww. Oh, you know what? Sweet. 
neat. I get it. I get why you re-registered oh, like that. So it was so cute. Yes. Even well, my heart. No, and I, I have to see Henry. Y'all all know yeah. I was a little nervous because he was like, you don't have to be the lab rat at everything they ask you to do. What if it blows up our marriage? But, but it, it did not. It did not. It did not. And they say, Al, the reason why it actually is good that uh -huh. uh, you weren't, you know, really <laughs> intense because it shows that it's not just friends. Right. Yeah. It's the real love it's person. The real love. Love. I think yeah. it's yeah. neat how, yeah. first of all, they like they just show the face. They even sure. take the hair out. They, there's no yeah, so setting. There's no distraction. And you uh -huh. said and it was like a split second. I had to quit once. Why? She asked me if I was nervous, which I was like, no, I'm not yeah. nervous, but I was pouring sweat, which yeah. therefore oh, negated oh. Was the whole nervous. test. It negated the whole test. The brain waves <gasps> were just oh, crazy. Oh, wow. All right. Anyway. That is really cool. Do you have something else that you and your sister are working on? Oh, yes. I'm, <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Um, we've been working on a new book. Yeah. Um, and we thought it was the perfect day to announce it. It calls Love Comes <gasps> First. Aww. And it's all about um, allowing people to be just as they are and accepting those that come. As you know, we've had Hal Haker. Mm -hmm. Since we wrote Sisters First, ah. we had to have a little brother included, and Barbara's had her baby, Cora Georgia. Okay, I love that. So it's fun. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.